student today we are going to see uh, coefficient of viscosity unit in a different form okay if you like my channel please subscribe okay uh, first one coefficient of viscosity the unit we can take it newton second meter my uh, meter square okay it is in a mk system in cgs system it's a dyne centimeter sec uh, a dyne second by centimeter square in pressure relation pascal into second and uh, in gravity relation kg of second by meter square okay so today we are going to see these are the four unit how the coefficient of viscosity this, uh, it's uh, this many unit is there in a different form that is a thing discussion we as we are going to have okay the first thing i'm going to teach you how the coefficient of viscosity is a newton second by meter uh, square okay uh, so imagine the liquid is flowing uh, from the su surface okay from one end of the surface okay uh, so i'm considering uh, so liquid slowly the velocity will be increasing when the it's going uh, like apart from the surface okay so it is a v velocity at x distance from the surface okay uh, it is v plus del v its a velocity going to increase okay at the distance of del x okay this one we can call it is a velocity gradient okay velocity changing with respect to the distance dv by dx we can call it is a velocity gradient okay uh, so from the surface uh, it is uh, like uh, in, if we will consider it is a circular pipe at the center the velocity of the liquid will be more okay uh, that is the thing it is going to produce as a viscous force okay the force is going to create due to the internal friction of the liquid we can take it as a, a viscous force okay the force viscous force is directly proportional to area of the pipe how much area it will be the pipe okay area of the pipe and also it is depend on the velocity gradient okay uh, length from the surface okay so when f is equal to a uh, constant equality constant that is called coefficient of viscosity a times of dv by dx now what is the coefficient of viscosity coefficient of viscosity is equal to uh, it is force okay velocity i am bringing here so area also i am bringing as a denominator force area dv by dx so it is a uh, uh, coefficient of viscosity formula okay first i am going to teach you how it's going to be get as a uh, uh, first formula it is a newton second by meter square okay force unit is a newton area s unit is a meter square velocity velocity is a displacement by time it is a meter by second divided divided by displacement Dis it's a dx is a displacement or distance meter get cancel so second is a denominator denominator directly will go in the numerator okay so it is a newton second by meter square the first unit i got is in a mk system for coefficient of viscosity okay so this is over the next thing okay so how we got dyne second by centimeter square so second formula dyne second by centimeter square okay uh, so the same thing newton in cgs system okay uh, newton second by meter square it is in a cgs system that is followed mks okay the newton the other name in a cgs system dyne we can call the force in cgs system dyne okay so newton is a kg meter second minus 2 this everything is in a newton second divided by meter square it is in a mk system the same unit in the cgs system it is a gram and it is a centimeter and second minus 2 because it is in a centimeter gram second okay the same unit with a different a uh, different uh, same term with a different unit okay divided by centimeter square so this fully we can call it is a dyne so dyne second by centimeter square it is a unit of coefficient of viscosity in cgs system okay so second we unit also we found dyne second by uh, centimeter square okay third one pascals pascals into second okay how the coefficient of viscosity got in the relation of pascals okay uh, so we have coefficient of viscosity force per uh, area into change in velocity by uh, change in length okay velocity changing with respect to the length okay see here uh, force by area force by area we can take it as a strain or pressure okay and the change in velocity by change in length so this we can take it as a pressure so pressure force per unit area is a pressure velocity is a uh, displacement distance uh, by time displacement by time or divided by distance 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 get cancelled so one by time period is directly go into the numerator so pressure into time pressure unit is a pascal uh, and the time as a unit is a second so we will get as a pascal into second so the another unit the third unit uh, pascal into second that also we add the explanation how the pascal into second the same coefficient of viscosity we got in the unit of pascal into second okay then fourth one kg of second meter square so what is kg of uh, so force 
is equal to ma okay mass we are considering as a 1 kg okay gravity we are taken as a 9.8 meter per second square that time force we can take it as a kgf so instead of writing as a force okay we can write as a kgf so uh, f divided by a okay uh, it is divided by dv by dx this is a formula for coefficient of viscosity so force si unit is a kgf there uh, we are going to take it force si unit is a kgf okay so kgf kgf force unit is a kgf area si unit is a meter square so velocity is a meter by second divided by meter it's getting cancelled okay this is meter it is meter by second this is getting cancelled so second will go in the numerator so kgf uh, second divided by meter square so the fourth unit also we found okay the other two unit is there okay one is the uh, thing uh, gf second by meter square in the same way kgf we can write as a gf uh, second by meter square so what is gf okay one gram of substance how many gravity is 9.8 meter per second square gravity will be act this is called uh, gf okay gf second by meter square okay otherwise you can solve the solution newton is a kg meter second minus 2 uh, into second divided by meter square so this getting cancelled from denominator you can take it as a meter so you will get kg meter minus 1 second minus 2 into uh, this is second plus 1 so final unit kg meter minus 1 second minus 1 this also will be the one of the unit of coefficient of viscosity okay it is we can call it is a SI unit only okay thank you if you like my channel please subscribe